and she seen me half near passed out on the ground. Guys, it's Trey, and today's video is a natural hair horror story. You guys' favorite here on my channel. Natural hair horror story is coming to an end, and I know that makes you guys sad. You guys love these horror stories. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. I do do a series here on my channel where I allow you guys to email me your craziest natural hair horror story and I feature it. So if you have a natural hair horror story that you would like me to feature, you can email me at sensitray at gmail.com. If you have been enjoying natural hair horror story week thus far, please give the video a thumbs up. I've been working overtime to make sure that you guys get natural hair horror stories as well as daily vlogs. So if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, the link is down below. Make sure that you subscribe. I do a lot of family content over there and you are going to love that channel. If you love me, you're gonna love that channel so make sure that you subscribe and I'm not gonna ramble too much let's just jump into it this is what you guys have been waiting for so let's just jump into it all right so the email says hello Treya I hope you had a good month of February filled with blessings and memories this story is a bit long so I'm going to just go straight into it okay on November 3rd which was my 23rd birthday I decided that I wanted to get a sew-in before this style, I wore wigs the whole entire summer, so my hair wasn't used to braids and sew-ins anymore. Me and my original stylist had a fallen out, so I decided to try someone new. Okay, I was following this hairstylist on IG. We're going to call her Jay. Her work was really nice, and when I seen that she did the exact same style I wanted for my birthday, I quickly booked her. Worst mistake ever. The day of my appointment, everything was going smooth. Um, she quickly braided my hair up, which wasn't really tight. But when she started sewing it, oh my God, it was the worst pain ever. In the middle of her doing my hair, I made her stop and I went to the bathroom. I washed my hands and threw water on my face. I was sweating and breathing heavy. I was having hot flashes. Girl! And felt very nauseous. She walked in the back to check on me since I was taking long to return back to my chair. And she seen me half near passed out on the ground. She helped me up and we walked out the back of the hair salon to the corner store. She brought me some water and something to put on my stomach. I told her I didn't eat that whole day so maybe that was the reason why I was so nauseous. Nope, it was because she was sewing my hair in so tight. When she was done, my head felt like it was about to explode. I was sweating, which caused my baby hairs to sweat, which messed up the style, but I didn't care. I wanted it to stop. I went home, took some meds, and took a nap, and I woke up, and my head felt okay. So I continued with my birthday night. The next day, my head was throbbing. I couldn't take it no more. It had to come out. I called her and she told me she can take it out that weekend, but I couldn't wait. I needed it out as soon as possible. After work, I came home and rushed to my room to take the weave out. I had a ponytail on the top of my head, which was so hard to unravel. I called the stylist and she told me she sewed in the ponytail. I never heard of such a thing, so I said whatever and started cutting. It was so hard and painful that I had to ask my mom to help me when it was finally she need to put some punctuation in here what the heck we're missing a whole bunch of periods okay when it was finally out my scalp felt so bumpy and sore it was red and looked disgusting i went to the er that weekend and they told me i had a bacteria infection in my scalp they sent me to a dermatologist and she requested that i wash my hair every day with prescription shampoo also, I had to take three bottles of antibiotics. When I told the girl, she was very conceding. She called and checked on me almost every day. But sis didn't even offer a refund since I was in the ER for her. But whatever. My scalp been through a lot these last couple of months. And I'm so grateful that my hair is now growing back. I will never get another sew-in again. I don't picks. Oh, I don't have picks from when I first got the infection because I have a new phone, but I do have the two recent pics from early January 2018 and February 2018. Thank you so much for listening to my horror story and God bless Kayla. All 
All right, y'all, so we didn't talked about this so many times here on my channel. A lot of you guys have emailed me your natural hair horror stories, and a lot of them um, happen because of tight braids. I don't know how many. I need somebody to, like, literally go through the horror stories and count how many times we had a situation like this happen because of tight braids. We had so many people ending up in the emergency room over their hair, like, over getting their hair done. And it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You were getting your hair braided by this girl that you found on IG. Now, that is a way that a lot of people find stylists. They see their Instagram and they look through their pictures. Hairstyles look cute. And you're like, okay, let me follow. Let me get her to do my hair. The styles look cute. But like I told y'all before, you can't just go by cute Instagram pictures because some Instagram pictures be lying, okay? So, um... Yeah, you ended up going to her. You found her on IG. Okay, so when she started braiding your hair, you had to take a break. You were having hot flashes, breathing heavy. You were almost passed out on the floor. That's how you know it was just too tight. I mean, I get dizzy, lightheaded when I don't eat. And you said you didn't eat that whole day, but you did say the braids were super freaking tight. When it gets to that point, that's a problem. If you cannot sit still in your chair, if you are in pain, if you're uncomfortable, if you have to go to the store and get medicine, pop a leaves, that's just too much. It's too much. It's too freaking much i mean a hairstyle is just not worth you guys ending up in the er i know it was for your birthday so of course you wanted to look good but no nobody should be sitting up in the er with a bacteria infection because they got their hair braided got a sew in whatever that's just that's just crazy it's a good thing that you took the sewing out when you did because you had this infection but let's just say you left the sewing in for a month or a month and a half this really could have ended a lot worse but i'm glad that you are okay i'm glad that your hair is growing back healthy but you guys this is not something to play with so keep this in mind when you guys do go and get your hair done it should not hurt you should not have to take medicine and you dead on shore should not be in the hospital because of this so i'm going to end this video here please give it a thumbs up and like i said before if you have an actual hair horror story that you would like me to feature you can email me my email is down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys